The MOSMOS method for shifting has about an 87% success rate. You know, it's pretty likely that you will be able to shift if you follow this technique or this method. So let's just get right into it. Step one, get into a comfortable position that you could kind of easily fall asleep in. And for some people, this will be on your side. For some people, it will be on your back. So step two is close your eyes. Imagine that you're in a small room with a large staircase in front of you and it's kind of leading upwards. Okay, and you can visualize different types of staircase, like different designs and patterns and colors. Step three, walk up the staircase slowly and feel as you feel yourself walking up the stairs, try and remember moments from your current reality, both good and bad. It's important to have that duality of memories. Don't just focus on the good and don't just focus on the bad. Remember both. Step four, keep doing that. And uh, when you reach the top of the staircase, take your time. I really, really need to make sure you understand this. Take your time slowly, you know, get, arrive at the top of the staircase, look around, don't try and rush this, okay? And this is a really important one. So step five, at the top of the staircase, there will be a mirror, okay? And I'm saying there will be because you need to, you know, intend and expect there to be a mirror and then there will be. So look into the mirror and see your current self, your, your current reality self, right? Look into the mirror knowing that this will be kind of the last time that you will be able to look at this person in the mirror and call it yourself. Now step six, you're gonna turn around and you're gonna face a door that should be in front of you. This door will be a light color. It might be white, it might be kind of like a light blue, uh, even a light green, okay? You're gonna put your hand on the doorknob and just try and really try and feel the energy going through you, rushing through you as you turn the doorknob and enter the door, okay? Now step seven, push the door open and there should be another staircase with kind of like a wall and like some kind of barrier and then another white door, okay? So you're gonna push open the door and then you're gonna see this, uh, this secondary door. Now step eight, okay, you're gonna try and feel all of the positive energy rising within you with each step that you take down the stairwell, okay? So I should have, I should have specified before. So the first staircase goes up, then you open the door, look in the mirror, and then you will see another staircase going down. Okay, so you need to feel the positive energy rise within you with each step that you take down the second step of stairs. Step nine, when you reach the kind of like the end or the bottom of the staircase, you're gonna put your hand on another doorknob. So there's another door now, and you're gonna open that door. Now, I just wanna make sure you understand that these kind of visualization sections or you know this the kind of visualizing that we're doing here and the technique is not over by the way this is i'm still on step nine of several more steps okay it's important to vi really strongly visualize these things but don't get hung up on the details so much okay v just visualize what a staircase would mean to you and visualize what a door would look like to you okay you don't have to have a, like a specific design of a door as long as it's what you would imagine a door to be that it's going to work okay so step 10 when you open the door you're gonna see, or you know, expect to see somebody who is kind of important to you from your desired reality. Not your current reality, your desired reality. And this could be your best friend, could be your partner, could be somebody from your family. Now, they're gonna hold out their hand and kind of laugh, smile at you, say hi, how's it going? And then they're gonna ask you if you're ready, if you're ready to go with them. And at this point, you need to be pretty certain that this is what you want to do. You want to shift and this is kind of where you want to go. Step 11, you're going to kind of take their hand and just walk with them through, the, through along a hallway. Okay, and they're going to ask you questions. You're going to imagine them asking you questions about the reality you want to shift into. Like, for example, what are you going to do? Where shall we go? What kind of things are we going to do? Or even what are we going to eat? Imagine them asking you questions. Now, step 12, you're going to walk through one final door into your desired reality, and you're gonna walk through this door with the person that you just imagined, whether it's your friend, your partner, whoever it was. You're gonna walk through the door with them, and you will be kind of greeted and met by all of your desired reality, friends, family, and people you know. You're gonna to talk to them, emotions will be running high, and it's gonna be pretty interesting. Now, what's gonna happen next is they're gonna kind of ask you questions, emotions will be running high, you'll be doing different activities, and at this point you have the choice to go further or to go back to your current reality. This is the MOSMOS technique. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And uh, I believe it's pretty effective. Like compared to some of the other techniques, this is a really effective one that you should try. And I'd love to hear what you think. So leave a comment now. Uh, before you forget, scroll down and say like, I will shift or I don't think this is a good technique or whatever your opinion happens to be. And remember that your subconscious mind will 
kind of act in ways to make what you say true. So if you really want this to work, then you should write something positive, like an affirmation, this will work or I will shift tonight. If you don't want it to work, then of course, right, this will not work, I will not shift tonight. <laughs> and your subconscious mind will kind of make that true for you. Now, one thing I really encourage you to do is I have made some subliminal um, shifting tracks, right, eight hour shifting tracks on this channel. And what you should do is just kind of play these subliminal tracks. That They sound really nice. There's like a lot of ambient sounds and meditation music as well as the subliminals. Um, and some of them also have binaural beats as well. But you should just play them in the background. And it can be on your phone. Uh, it can be on your laptop. Play them in the background when you're trying to do this. So as soon as you go to sleep at night, play these tracks, right? You can find them on my channel. And you don't have to worry about ads because I've actually disabled ads at, in the middle of the video. So the only ads that will play will be right at the start. And then once you've skipped those ads, there'll be no more ads that will interrupt you, okay? So, and it's an eight hour track, there's several of them, which will really make it more likely that you'll shift. Uh, so I would highly encourage you to check those out. You can just go onto my chat, click on my channel, Lucid Dreaming Experience, and then yeah, you should be able to search for subliminal or search for shifting, or that, there should be a playlist actually at the very top of the channel. Uh, listen to those when you're trying this. If you want more information about shifting, I made a huge video on the channel explaining exactly how it works, like going into techniques and explaining how you can make it work for you. That's also on the channel, go and check that out. And I'd love to hear what you think about this, uh, this particular technique and also shifting in general. So leave a comment down below and I'll see you next time.